Hello guys, isa na namang matapik ang tatalakay natin sa video na ito. Swak ito sa inyo ng mga grade 11 na nag-aaral lamang sa bahay. Huwag bibitiyo para tuloy-tuloy lang ang pag-aaral at pagkakatuto. Dito nga itatalakayin ko ang inyong module 15 ng General Mathematics, Finding the Domain and Range of an Inverse Function. Detalyado at madaling intindihin. Bago sa pagtalakay ng ilang mga examples ay bibigay ko muna sa inyo the properties of an inverse of one-to-one -one functions. Number one, the inverse of f to the negative one of x is f of x. Number two, the domain of f of negative one of x is the range of f of x. And third, the range of f to the negative one of x is the domain of f of x. Ang ibig sabihin, ang domain at range ng original function ay nagkakapalit sa kanyang inverse function. Nagtalakay na tayo ng example. Given a equals 5 and 4, 3 and negative 3, 1 and 0, negative 2 and negative 6. What is the domain and range of its inverse? Ang domain ay yung mga unang numbers ng function. Ito ang 5, 3, 1, and negative 2. Ang range naman ay yung mga pangalawang numbers na negative 4, negative 3, 0, and negative 6. And since the domain and range of the function and its inverse interchange, Therefore, in a to the negative 1, the domain is the range of the original function, which is negative 4, negative 3, 0, and 6. Ang range naman is the domain of the original function, which is 5, 3, 1, and negative 2. Naintindihan. Dumako tayo sa ating problem number 2. Given f of x equals x cubed minus 2 restricted the domain shown below, find the domain and range of its inverse. The domain of f of x equals negative 2, 0, 2, 3, and 4. The range of f of x equals negative 10, negative 2, 6, 25, and 62. Therefore, the domain of the inverse f of negative 1 of x equals the range of the f of x which is negative 10, negative 2, 6, 25, and 62. The range of the inverse f of negative 1 of x equals the domain of the original function f of x which is negative 2, 0, 2, 3, and 4. Again, very clear that the domain of f of x become the range of f of negative 1 of x. And the range of f of x becomes the domain of f to the negative 1 of x. Problem number 3. Find the domain and range of the inverse of f of x equals 3x minus 2. Since the function f of x equals 3x minus 2 is a linear function, and based from our past learning in mathematics, its graph is a straight line. So, its domain is a set of x values such that x is an element of real numbers. Its range is the set of y values such that y is an element of real numbers. For the inverse of the function f to the negative 1 of x equals 3x minus 2, its domain is the range of the original function which is the set values of x such that x is an element of real numbers. And the range of the inverse function is the domain of the original function which is the set of y such that y is an element of real numbers. Dumako na tayo sa last problem ko sa video na to. Consider the rational function f of x equals 5x minus 1 all over negative x plus 2. Find the domain and range of its inverse. Sa specific problem na ito, 
muli nating balikan yung properties ng inverse function. Tandaan, ang domain ng inverse function ay range ng original function at ang range ng inverse function ay domain ng original function. At karagdagan, ang domain ng function ay yung nansiro ng kanyang denominator. Kaya, magsisimula ang solusyon natin sa kanyang denominator na negative x plus 2. Gagawin natin negative x plus 2 is not equal to 0. Yung not equal ang nagre-represent ng non-zero. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng numbers maliban sa 0. Tuloy lang tayo. Lipat natin yung positive 2 sa kanan may siyang negative 2. Para mawala ang negative kay x, mamultiply tayo both sides ng negative 1 at mayiging positive na sila. So, ang x na nga natin is not equal to 2. And so, ang domain na nga ng ating original function na f of x is equal to x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to 2. And our problem now is what is the range of the f of x. Balikan natin, ang domain daw ng inverse of the function is the range of the original function. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, isosolve natin yung y in terms of x gamit ang original function na f of x equals 5x minus 1 all over x plus 2. Yung f of x po ay gagawin nating y at yung y ay gagawin nating x, yung x ay gagawin nating y. Magkukross product tayo, so meron tayong x quantity negative y plus 2 equals 5y minus 1. At para mawala ang parenthesis, apply tayo ng distributive property. x times negative y is negative xy, x times 2 is plus 2x equals 5y minus 1. Dahil solve for y tayo, pagsasamahin natin lahat ng may y, hiwalay sa walang y. Ililipat natin yung 5y sa kaliwa, may siyang negative 5y, at yung 2x naman, nilipat sa kanan, may king negative 2x. At dahil lahat sila ay negative, mamultiply tayo both sides ng negative 1 para lahat din sila ay maging positive. So, meron na tayong xy plus 5y equals 2x plus 1. Sa left side tayo, dahil common ang y, ipafactor natin siya ng y quantity x plus 5. At para mawala ang x plus 5 kay y, divide natin both sides ng x plus 5. Cancel natin ang x plus 5, meron na nga tayong y equals 2x plus 1 all over x plus 5. Once again, the domain equals the non-zero of the denominator. So, ang denominator natin is x plus 5 is not equal to 0. To solve, lipat natin yung 5 sa kanan from positive magiging negative. And, ang x nga natin is not equal to negative 5. Just because the domain of the inverse of f of x is the range of f of x, therefore, the range is y is an element of real number such that y is not equal to negative 5. And just because we have now the domain and range of the original function, we can now get the domain and range of the inverse function. Therefore, for the inverse of the original function, the domain is the range of the original function which is x is an element of real numbers such that x is not equal to negative 5. And the range of the inverse function equals the domain of the original function which is y is an element of real numbers such that y is not equal to 2. Again, kung nakatulong sa inyo ang video, don't forget to subscribe.